Hello all, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're looking at large grid window air tightness. And man, is it a disaster. So we're going to start with some good news, and then we'll go over the windows behind me. The good news is that all rectangular window blocks that are on a single surface, a single face of the block, those are all airtight exactly how you would expect them to be. The 1x1, one one, the 1x2, one 2x3, two, 3x3, two three, three three, those are all perfectly fine, so we're not going to take a look at those. Also, the window walls, these fancy blocks, these are all perfectly fine. They work exactly how you would expect them to. Basically exactly like the uh, the half blocks, half armor blocks. So we're not going to worry about those. The blocks in the background here, these ones all work in ways that I don't think are entirely intuitive. So we'll look at these blue blocks first. This is pretty much every window block that is angled, that doesn't exist on a single plane. Every single one of them, except for that top yellow set over there, is airtight in every single orientation. Whether it makes sense or not, these window blocks, they're airtight. Outside here, I have no air. I can walk through this. On the inside, I have air. These are airtight, no matter which way you place them, they're perfectly fine. Doesn't make a lot of sense. It allows you to make what I like to call keen airlocks, like this. So just anything that you can walk through that is an airtight thing is a keen airlock. They're amazing. Best type of airlock in the game. Probably the only type you should use. They take two PCU or one PCU. There's some of these blocks that you can just walk through a single block of. So that's great. And they have zero moving parts, so they're not going to explode from clang. So if you need to build an airlock, uh, it's the least immersive airlock in the game, but it's also the best, so and there's your trade-off, I guess. So yeah, every single one of these blocks marked as blue, these are all completely airtight. Skip that one for now. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Absolutely open and completely airtight. Pretty cool. And you can get rid of those bottom things, so you just have like a little, nice little arch you walk through. Now back to that. Yeah, every single one of these. Those are all airtight. These ones right here are the only block that exists um, that's not on a single plane, which is not airtight. And these are not airtight in any orientation. So it's kind of an inconsistency, if you ask me. I think those, if all these other ones are airtight in every orientation, I think these should be too. These blocks down here, which are just kind of the flattened version of those blocks, uh, these are also not airtight in any orientation. In fact, every single one of these face blocks, the flat blocks that aren't perfectly rectangular, these are not airtight in any orientation whatsoever. So you can't make windows that are like this, that are airtight. You have to overlap the entire square, you have to use a perfectly rectangular block here, and you have to make it airtight. Now you can double pane your windows, which is what I always end up doing. It sucks, but it's one way to make this look nice on the outside. And then on the inside, you have rectangular windows on the other side of the block, which make it airtight. So you're just going to have to deal with that, I guess. Um, these ones right here, uh, I really, what I wish they would do, right, because they already have tons of keen airlocks, I wish they would just make these airtight on the face that has the window. They should be airtight along that face, because it's not going to create any exploits that don't already exist in the game. And it's going to allow you to make windows that are like this, that look nice. I run into this problem in almost every single one of my fancier builds, and it drives me absolutely insane. So hopefully these ones can be made airtight, at least on the face where the window is. This right here, this uh, chunk of blocks that are marked white, I think this is just a missing window. It's the inverted version of this, so the flattened version of this one. I realize that in the game there's not a whole lot of places that I can think of where you would use this, but there are a few. There are a few window shapes where you could use this. So why is this window not in? I don't know. Maybe they'll add it someday. The round window inverse face would be cool. The last thing I want to look at is uh, these, which are called windows, and I think they should just be renamed because they don't require glass and they are not airtight in any orientation. I think they should be renamed as blinds because they kind of work like that. Blinds, shutters, vents, just rename them. They aren't really windows. So 
that's my recommendation for those ones. A lot of people use them as vents uh, to vent air between rooms and to look nice. And they're really great in a lot of pre-exist or builds that people have already made. So making them airtight, I think, would actually be more of a problem than a solution. So maybe just rename those. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, there's one more thing. These ones, I wish they would just make the so the front and back looking at it from this direction, the front and back of these blocks, why are these airtight? You can make this block make sense airtight wise to a degree by just making them airtight along the uh, the faces where the window is vertical. I'm probably explaining this poorly, but like basically the front and back of the, these these two faces, the front face right here and the back face, when you're looking at it from this angle, those do not need to be airtight for any reason. They just made the whole block airtight, and it, it lets you do really silly things like this. Yeah, other than that, uh, hopefully that helps you make windows that are airtight, and hopefully they, they make these ones airtight on the face with the window. That would be a great change. So if you're interested in seeing that specific change, I will put a link to my submitted feedback on the Keen support site. Go there, vote on it. Maybe they'll change it. They probably won't. They don't seem to care too much about uh, window air tightness or just air tightness in general. So you're pretty safe uh, using Keen air locks or you know, building whatever window stuff with the current setup because it's probably not going to change for a long time. So hope that helped. Have a good one. See ya.